Well, good morning. It's day three on our Disney cruise here on the Disney Wish. We just docked at Castaway Key a little while ago, and we're not getting off the ship right away this morning, but we are getting breakfast at 1923, which is a sit-down breakfast this morning. Fingers crossed, our plans are gonna work out. We ordered Mickey Churro waffles. Lindsay's not super hyped about those. I can see why other people like them. I just, they, they don't tickle my face. Yeah, we're gonna do the sit down breakfast this morning and then we're hoping to hit up the Aqua Mouse, enjoy the ship for a little bit while the crowds get off at the island. We made it into 1923 and the Mickey Churro waffles are on their way. So are Alyssa and Carrie. Lindsay's here with me. Carrie and Alyssa are here. Alyssa's focused on the menu. You guys ready for some uh, Churro Mickey waffles? I am. Yes. <laughs> they made some magic happen last night. We asked if they could possibly make churro Mickey waffles and they have appeared. That's a lot. Those look amazing. They don't do Mickey churro waffles on the wish. Last night we asked our main server. He said he would check and we should come to breakfast here this morning and we'd find out if we could get them. And they're here. Definitely might not always work, but it did this time. And they're only available if you ask for them to be delivered to your table at a sit down breakfast restaurant. So not available in the buffet. Ask your server and they might be able to make some magic happen for you. I've never usually eaten these with syrup because there's a lot on it, but I've never had it with syrup. The girls just said it's really good with syrup, so here's a Mickey ear. It definitely adds to it. If you guys ever have these, try it with and without, see what you think. We're now back in our stateroom, put on all our swim stuff on. We're going to hit the Aqua Mouse while the ship is mostly empty. At least we hope it is. We haven't been on the pool deck yet this morning, so we haven't actually looked. A lot of people have already gotten off the ship at Castaway. It is 10, 15 right now. So I think it's a great time to hit up the Aqua Mouse. None of us have done it yet. Looking forward to trying that for the first time. We just got off the Aqua Mouse. That was a lot of fun. It was. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely some surprises <laughs> along the way. Yeah. And we were able to ride it like three or four times in a row. Four, I think. Yeah. Lindsay got off early and then Carrie got off a little after that. Alyssa joined me and yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Yeah. And I heard that uh, the cartoons change like every other day. It goes from one to the other and then back to it. Yeah. Every other day they play a new cartoon. So it's a little bit of a different experience each time. Right now we are going to head off the ship onto Castaway Key, enjoy some bike riding, and get some lunch and do other things that are just gonna be fun. Some of us might relax, some of us might go in the water or hit the water slide. Either way, we're excited to be here. We're about to get off the castaway. Got my first banana soft serve of our cruise. So good. We made it off the ship. It's such a nice day today. The weather is great. Uh, doesn't mean it won't rain. It probably will at some point. We're looking forward to getting on some bikes and enjoying our time doing all that together. First thing to do, get some saucer. And they have banana on the island today. Can't get better than that. Strawberry. Carrie disagrees, so does Alyssa. They don't like banana. I love it. Lindsay decided to hang back at the beach and read her book. She just really wanted to relax this morning. It's almost this afternoon, but we are trying to find the bike rental. Wish us luck. We found the bike rental. It's right over there. It's just past the sign that says 5K start. Ran into some nice people and they had a hermit crab and Alyssa was cool all shot. about letting it walk all over her arm. <laughs> that is so funny. He walks so super funny. He has a big pincher. Well, we made it to the top of the lookout and it is really pretty up here. You can see a lot of the island from up here. The wish in the distance over there. You can see a lot more ocean. Since we started later, if that's why there's like nobody else here at this lookout right now, because I bet a bunch of people got off the ship right away and came straight to the bikes, but we started a little later and I don't know. It's like we have it all to ourselves. I know, no one else is up here. There's also not been a lot of people on the bike trail either. And Alyssa is looking at me. <laughs> you can see the wish all the way over there. It looks really far away from this spot. I love how Disney just puts little random Easter eggs or other things in the landscape here at Castaway Key. 
You can see right there, there's a little outhouse. Dork, a pelican, or something. Flamingo. You know, maybe we should give him some privacy. Yeah. Well, we're at Serenity Bay. This is where we were last year when we found out the uh, lunch had already stopped. We dropped Alyssa off. She returned her bike at the bike rental stand and she is going to go hang out with Lindsay or go snorkeling. Carrie and I are getting us some lunch and walk around. So we never really explored this area when we were here last year. Yep. We're actually not super hungry after those Mickey Churro waffles we had this morning. We're gonna grab a drink and walk on the beach for a little bit before grabbing a bite to eat. Well, it is starting to come down, of course, because we're in the Bahamas. We might finish our drinks first, get on our bikes, and then head uh, to where the girls are. But we need to get some food. Hey, Are you ready? I'm ready to go. We're, We're gonna ride our bikes back in the rain. Cause... I don't even know if you can hear us because the rain is so loud. We finished lunch, so I checked that off my list. Chris finally got his barbecue. And I have my ice cream sandwich on Castaway. The cookies are so good here. Not on the ships, but I think we're gonna try to brave this weather and head back. You ready? This is incredible. I never thought we'd be riding our bikes on Castaway in a giant rainstorm. All right, let's get back to the girls. Five minutes ago, it started sprinkling. Now it's kind of pouring and you just heard a little bit of thunder. I got a pina colada. I'm chilling because I'm under an umbrella, but the umbrella is also somehow leaking so that's fun it's coming down it is coming oh my down like day i feel bad for Alyssa because she just rented a bunch of snorkel gear that was quite expensive holy crap it's coming down and obviously that's kind of useless now there's been some thunder a little bit of lightning for now i'm fine oh boy yeah our stuff is getting kind of soaked right now i'm pretty sure everyone's going back to the ship i think we're gonna try to wait it out under a little more protection but yeah i'm getting a little no my book my uh, yeah, I'm getting a little wet right now, even though I'm under an umbrella. So I'm gonna go now, bye. We got under a little cover. We still need to go back and get some stuff, but I got soaked just from going under the rain. And as you can see, lots of people, it is quite literally flooding. Attention all gas, crew, and island cast members. Oh no. Due to the current weather conditions, please gather all personal belongings and take immediate cover, shelter, and remain in place until further notice. Again, we do apologize for the weather. Um, I hope mom and dad are okay. Yeah. Good luck, guys. I hope you're... Yeah. Good luck with that. We had so much fun laughing through the whole experience of riding our bikes through this heavy rain, but I felt bad for Carrie because she did not have a hat on like I did. But we made our way back to the bike rental station and we were greeted by a couple of amazing cast members who were cheering us on and even gave us some Castaway Key 5K medals, I think because they felt a little bit bad for us or they were just impressed. Either way, we walked through some flooding waters to head back to the beach. We eventually met back up with the girls and we found them laughing and smiling, which made us so happy that we were able to, as a family, make the best out of this not so uh, comfortable situation on Castaway Key. We've had, I don't know if you'd say the perfect day, but it's been a very fun day. Eventful, Lindsay just said eventful. Even with the rainstorm, that's probably what made it so super fun and memorable. It did last quite a while though, and, and I know it was really inconvenient for a lot of people. Like I saw there's people in the like little electric scooters, like for mobility scooters. Some of them I think got shorted out. They had people pushing them and the, and the puddles are so deep they couldn't go through with those scooters. And then, you know, people with really small children, it's really hard when they're upset because they're all wet. So I'm sure it was a big bummer for a lot of people, but we had fun. We did have a lot of fun and we're heading back to the ship right now. Everyone went back to the ship and we had like no one out there. It was, it was beautiful and fun. Yeah, we hit the water after everyone headed back to the ship. Actually, Alyssa and I, and then Carrie joined us for some uh, water slides over at Pelican Plunge. That was a lot of fun. Uh, you didn't last long because you got a face full, a mouth full of water, salt water. That happened to me on my second one. The last part of the day was just super relaxing. Floating on the floaties, hanging out in the water, Alyssa chasing after fish, Lindsay screaming and running from fish that were wanting to nibble on her toes. Dad, it's right here, look at it, look, come on. <laughs> Side egg.
made it back to our stateroom from Castaway Key. Alyssa, right behind me, is playing with a little blow-up plastic sword. <laughs> we got pixie dusted. We're not doing pixie dusting, but we are doing ducks. So it's fun to do something like that to uh, just spread the fun around the ship. It's very nice of uh, whoever gave those to us. Carrie and I are going to take showers in the fitness center area. And those are nicer showers, bigger showers. We're gonna enjoy that. The girls are gonna relax in the stateroom, uh, clean up a bit. I think there's a show tonight. It's pirate night, but there's also a show. I think it's a Little Mermaid. So I think we're gonna try to go to that. It's always fun to see those, especially new ones we haven't seen before. Karen and I just got back from our showers. It was nice. Yeah? Yeah. I think it's nice to know that the options there, there's not very many showers though, but mm -hmm. thankfully none of them were being used. I think there was only three or four. Yeah, same on the guy's side. I've heard a few people asking questions on the Disney Cruise Line Facebook group or one of them about like, how big are the showers if you're a really, really tall person? And I've heard people recommend, well, if you're really tall, you might want to go down and use the spa showers. So I thought, oh, well, that's probably pretty smart because they're, they're really, really tall. Yeah, they're tall. There's plenty of space to put down your stuff in there. And they have great shower heads. They have the ones that you kind of pull off the wall. And they also have like the rainfall shower head, yeah, which nice. it just, uh, that's that's it right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so nice. Well, they also have, after you get out of the shower and go into the room with the mirror and all that kind of stuff, they have, they have everything you'll need um you know hair gel yeah. deodorant like spray deodorant all kinds of stuff yep. so that's also good to know there's even like a waiting room where you can get tea or mm -hmm. sparkling water there's oranges in there they have a lot of just things in there that really are available to access for anyone that wants to use it any adults that want to use it it's a really great way to end our castaway key day <laughs> it's just for a little a nice relaxing shower mm -hmm. But we're looking out over Castaway Key. We still haven't pulled away yet. We're just spying out the island, looking at it from our uh, balcony. We also were able to, I think, find where the lookout was that we rode our bikes to. It's really fun to see the island from a few different perspectives like this. Awesome. That was a whole bunch of them. I'm glad I didn't go get my coffee yet. I was waiting to get coffee because I wanted to hear the horn. Now you can get your coffee. Yep. You probably cannot tell, but we are moving. Goodbye, Castaway Key. It was a lot of fun, even when you were really wet today. Lindsay is invested in her book. She's going to be enjoying reading it. What are you reading? Once Upon a Broken Heart uh, is recommended by my awesome youth group leader. It's like the perfect mix of like fantasy and romance and mystery and like oh it's so good yeah was, you, were, you were reading that like on the beach today it, oh. and well until it started raining on you it's, yeah it's one of my favorite i think it's one of my new uh favorite series it's so good well i'm glad you're enjoying it carrie and i are about to get coffee let's go let's go you no. ready yes i want to okay. go now let's go and we do have a free coffee waiting for us we got two of these and one of them is empty but this one has a stamp so i think we can use this to get a freebie Pirate night has officially started. I think right now is Mickey and Minnie's uh, pirate deck party. We're actually not going to go to that. Uh, we are going to go to the Rockin' Pirate Parlay, I think is what it's called, on the deck when they have a rock band come out, play pirate songs, and also do the fireworks. We're going to do that after dinner. Carrie and I have been busy uh, hiding more of our ducks, and that's been a lot of fun just finding random places around the ship to hide them and uh, just hopefully people find them and enjoy them, rehide them, or keep them themselves. Right behind me, I don't know if you can see, Chip and Dale are in their pirate costumes, taking pictures of the guests. I really wanted to get in line. Carrie's coming back down here in a few minutes. Uh, we have to deal with guest services uh, with something, but I was going to try to see if you should come down here with me and take a picture of Chippendale. They closed the line. So maybe later. We still haven't gotten any character photos yet. We don't do that a lot. Our girls are they're not too old for it. They just don't like waiting in line uh, for those kind of things anymore. Hopefully at some point we'll be able to take a picture or two with some characters. It's just not usually the highest priority for us. But if we happen upon a line and it's not a long wait, we always enjoy doing that. I'm gonna go wait for Carrie, deal with guest services. And then I think in about 20 minutes, we're gonna get ready for dinner. We dealt with guest services and they helped us figure out a few issues that we had. And one of the things that we did was we put 
the money on our Disney Visa rewards card and we applied it to our onboard account. To do that, all you gotta do is bring your Disney Visa rewards, not your Visa card, but your that you get a rewards card when you have points, it's like a points or rewards card that's separate from your credit card. And you just show that to guest services, and if you have any points, dollars, uh, Disney dollars saved up on it, you can have them apply it to your uh, stateroom balance. This is the first time we remembered to do it. Yes. We always forget. <laughs> so we did it this time. Earlier, though, we went to go see The Little Mermaid. Yeah. And I thought it was really good. I almost didn't go because I was enjoying sitting on the balcony, but I really enjoyed the show. It was so fun. The actors were great. The music was great. And the choreography and the puppets and everything. It was so much fun. The actor playing Sebastian did a phenomenal job. Yeah. Uh, he, he was, to me, he was the star of the show. <laughs> he did such a good job. And they do change the story around just a little bit. So keep that in mind if you come on The Wish uh, to expect a little bit of a difference in the storyline. But overall, it was still really good. Really fun. Especially there was just one song especially that was just so, I mean, I just love how they use all the props. Under the seat? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, so good. That was the best part, I thought. Yeah. We are at 1923 for Pirate Night and the Pirate Menu. I know what Alyssa wants. I think Lindsay already knows what she wants. And here's Lucy, our assistant server. She's been amazing. So I got the pearl. It's it's like the cocktails at the top of the menu. Well, this is a mocktail because it doesn't have alcohol, obviously. It had some boba on it at the beginning. And it's like vanilla ice cream with other fruit juice. I don't know. I really like it. The kids menu has a dessert. I think we should try it. Fudge brownie, chocolate chip cookie center, and vanilla ice cream. Alyssa likes hers. She's she's making her happy, happy food dance. I got the drink of the day for the um, well, the non-alcoholic drink of the day. It's got mango and a and a banana, like a fresh banana in it. Pineapple yeah. juice. Um, I can't really taste the banana though, which is kind of nice because I don't really like tasting banana in my yeah. drinks. And for bread service, we got Johnny Cakes, which is pretty sure it's cornbread. And you also have dinner rolls that they give you too for people who don't like cornbread. But they also have like a mango dip. We've had our appetizers and our soup. My favorite appetizer is probably the crab cake. It's really, really good. It's a yummy sauce, yummy grilled lemon with it. The samosa is also delicious. Lots of good flavor, a little bit spicy. The chilled shrimp. I thought it was warm. I don't usually like chilled shrimp, but I usually like warm shrimp, but you guys like it. It was like, it's basically a shrimp cocktail, but the cocktail sauce is on the side. Really, really good. But our favorite is this chilled mango soup. So delicious. So so fresh tasting, it has some orange and I guess some ginger, maybe some cilantro in there. So mostly it's sweet. It's really good. And this one devoured her first bowl. She got two. I love the mango. Yeah, and you were you were a savage. I was trying to say, Alyssa, we're in a nice restaurant. Please don't drink out of your bowl. But right as I was saying it, Chris pulled out the camera to capture the moment. So I feel like she was getting mixed signals. No mixed signals here. I got his signal. <laughs> Yeah. So we've got dinner served and we've pretty much eaten I think all we're gonna eat from it. I uh, got the strip loin and the jerk chicken. The strip loin was really good. Usually we'll get our steaks medium rare, but on the Disney cruise, at least this one, we've gotten it medium because medium rare is a little bit too rare <laughs> for our taste. But it was really good. The potatoes that came with it were really, really tasty. Yeah, the jerk chicken was okay. It was a little spicy. Alyssa and Lindsay got the lamb shake. I think they liked it. It was okay. I think it was a little bit mid for them. But I think for Lindsay, the star of the show was the Yorkshire pudding. Lucy explained it the best because she's British and Yorkshire pudding is from uh, the UK. It was like red, but not. It was like very airy red. But I, I really liked it. It went. You know what it reminds me of? What? I just figured it out. A popover. Yes. Oh, that's Yes, yes, I knew it reminded me of something, but I forgot what it was. But yes, it's exactly like a popover. It's really good. I really like it. One thing that we've noticed every night is our server team is incredibly fast. They're really engaging, a lot of fun. It's 9.20. Fireworks and the pirate deck show are, at, are in about an hour. Normally, most cruises, I'd be a little bit worried that we get up there in time. Not with this uh, serving team. They've been so good. And they brought the food out to us nice and hot every time. So super thankful for that. <laughs> okay. Carrie just said something funny. We won't repeat it. I wasn't trying to be funny. Well, thanks a lot. We did pretty good with the dessert. The We got the banana bread um, with hazelnut chocolate. You okay? I was really funny, really. This time it was on point. It's back to desserts. We ordered the banana bread with, uh, it's like a hazelnut fudge sauce. That was okay. The banana 
It was a little bit dry. The banana bread was a little bit dry. This was the rum cake. Alyssa, what did you think of the rum cake? I liked it. It was good. Please hold on with a little bite. Our server Joseph loves giving the girls little things and he loves making origami for them. That's super fun. Ooh, it's a boat or a ship. Family, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed your dinner tonight. Tomorrow is a very exciting night because we're going to be in the world of Mali. Right when we were talking about our desserts, uh, our server Joseph came over and played a card trick and that was a lot of fun. Alyssa loved that. Actually, we all loved it. It was great. We had a few other desserts. I would say the thing that we liked the most was the ice cream sundae. And there's also a brownie sundae that we got from the kids menu that was also really, really good. The other one I think that at least Carrie and I liked the most, I think Alyssa did too, was the macadamia nut caramel cheesecake tart. That was really, really tasty. A lot of people don't like the pirate menu, probably because it's the same on every cruise, but we enjoy it. I don't know, it start, it's not our favorite menu, but we enjoy it. We are ascending the Grand Hall Staircase, heading up to deck 12, I think for the Pirates Rockin' Parlay show, followed by fireworks, excited for the fireworks, especially the fireworks on the Wish. We've heard, I've heard, a little bit better than the other ships. Calm the waters be, your ship was rocking! Captain Jack Sparrow. And there was no towel animal. Yeah. yeah, we just finished the pirate rock and parlay with the fireworks show. It was super fun and it was really cool to see how the wish does fireworks. They shoot them off from both funnels and it made it really fun. Yeah. But, but. there's no towel animal in here. It's funny because I was talking to him earlier and uh, I was telling him how much we liked the one from last night and he said, Yeah, I wanted to make you something extra special because I know you've done a bunch of cruise before. And then he didn't make one today. <laughs> I think maybe he forgot. Because I, I have an idea what? where it might be. Oh, you you think it's somewhere else? It might be. Oh, where? Where? might be. Okay. Well, let's check out the bathrooms. All right. Well, I put a bunch of clothes in the bathroom earlier that were on the balcony. I didn't see anything in there. No, nothing in here. Is it in there? You ready? I this is the coolest towel, towel animal I've ever seen. I've seen this on different vlogs. Okay, totally. Okay, back up. Out. All right, let's let's show you guys what this is. Oh, I so absolutely love this. That is so great. Oh my gosh. I love it. That is risky with my sunglasses. Oh my that is awesome. That's cool. That is wow. the best. Oh my gosh. Uh, so I'm guessing that's like a, a goose or some kind of bird. Just chilling on the toilet, doing his business. You know, maybe we should give him some privacy. Yeah, I cannot. <laughs> These guys go above and beyond, like actually. Seriously, we have the best I know. service and people on this cruise. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. uh, I love it. I one more day. <laughs> What's he reading? The United States Consulate and Embassy Information. That's interesting bathroom. Oh, I'm sorry. You just broke your hands, Mr. Bird. Let's give you some privacy. Yeah, give him some privacy. We had an amazing day. We all want to share a little bit of something that was uh, the best part of our day. For me, it was the rainstorm on Castaway. Carrie and I being over at Serenity Bay, just getting dumped on while trying to eat some lunch. And by the way, I had the cookie ice cream sandwich with soft serve and Castaway Key cookies. Oh my gosh, 
Those Castaway Key chocolate chip cookies are amazing. And that's what I've heard after trying them. So much better than the ones on the ship. It was great. Although I did like the rain at Castaway Key, um, I really liked the uh, towel animal in the bathroom. That was really funny. So I think that was um, my favorite part of the day. For me, it was probably also the rain at Castaway. I got really into my uh, new book that I'm reading. It went so well with like the clear water and like the- The aesthetic was perfect. Yes. <laughs> and the hammock. Oh, the hammock. You you got to read on the hammock a little bit. I did enjoy biking at Castaway Key. That was really fun. Then when Chris and I got to Serenity Bay, it seemed really beautiful and I was excited to be there. But then we had that looming dark cloud and we're like, uh-oh. Just like everyone else, I enjoyed the rain. It made it really fun and memorable. You know, we were hunker hunkering down for a while. And then we're just like, let's just go for it. This is amazing! <laughs> and that was so fun, riding our bikes in the rain together. So it was crazy. I kept screaming like as I was getting pelted in the face with all the water. But Quirky ma. What? Quirky ma. Quirky? You would have been screaming too. I was kind of stressed out because I was worried about them because we couldn't contact them very well. And I didn't know if they were going to want to get back on the ship. And I didn't know if they could without us. And I just kind of wanted to get to them with all that rain. And then we got to them and they were like so happy in the rain, which I was very surprised about. So that was really fun. Hearing you scream was what made that super fun. <laughs> was it really? That, well, that and everyone cheering us on as we left Serenity Bay. so Because we were the ones who were like braving it going out there in the torrential rain. Yeah, everybody else was like hiding underneath the, the shelter. And then we we're just like, we're just going to go for it. And they were all cheering for us. It was so funny. Thank you so much for watching today. Today was such a fun day. And we're really glad we got to share some of it with you. Tomorrow is our day at sea on this Fortnite cruise on the Disney Wish. We are all pumped to sleep in. Yes. yes. This will be the first day we've been able to actually sleep in without really too many plans. I have something happening. I'm going to Hooks Barbary for an appointment I made for a shave and treatment there. After that, fingers crossed, I think Carrie and I were able to get Polo Brunch reservations. At least it's on our schedule. So I think that's going to happen, but I guess you guys will have to watch next week to find out. We can't wait to share that with you for now. Have a great week. We love you guys much, and we'll see you guys again really soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.